This video was sponsored by Kershaw, Next Level Pocket Knives. Use discount code 20archery23 for 20% off at kershawknives.com. Hey, Archery Talk, this is Lucas, and today I'm sitting here, at least virtually, with Daniel Karcher from uh, the Outdoor Group. Uh, Daniel, welcome aboard. Thanks, thanks for having me. Uh, and so we're here today to talk about the the new Aero Venture of the, from the Outdoor Group, Ultra Arrows, and uh, maybe kind of tell us a little bit about about why you guys have entered the arrow market. Yeah, so this has been a project we've been working on for the last two to two and a half years. Um, and back when it all started, it was the outdoor group looking for opportunities to grow. Um, and kind of in that research and development, we thought arrows was a natural fit for the current brands that we we already had. And so, and so yeah, how, what was like the, uh, the process, I guess, to go from like the idea of doing this to actually being able to release the arrows? Yeah, so at first it was a high level idea, you know, we want to start looking into arrows and then um, we started to focus on um, as far as arrows, what sizes we would need, um, components, spines, kind of all the fine details we started, we started sorting out, um, which resulted in the initial offering that we're going to have come in this September. So I guess let's let's look at maybe the individual arrows you guys are offering. It looks like you've come with four kind of arrow sizes and, and then two different straightness platforms. Yeah, we're going to have four arrow sizes, like you said. We're going to have a 166 micro arrow, a 246 standard arrow, a 23, uh, which is predominantly your target in 3D arrow, and then a 27 as well, your target. Yeah, and just kind of... Uh, I was lo looking at the arrows. I've got you guys sent me some samples I'll be playing with in the near future uh, and just kind of peeking at them and the 166 looks like it's nice like that's like that's got like a thick carbon wall it looks like it's going to be a pretty sturdy arrow yeah it's going to be durable um and that's going to be offered i don't know if we mentioned it but in two different straightnesses so we'll have a limited series which is our 3000 straightness and then a premier series which is our 1000 straightness um and then the 166s will be available in four different spine offerings uh 250 300 350 and 400. okay and then the target the target arrows are those also in those same spines or you have different different options for Nope, the, the 246s will be available in 300, 350, and 400. Um, initially, the 23s will only be available in 300 spine, and the 27s will only be available in 200 spine. Yeah, fair enough. Those are, people are going to load up those with weight for them, especially the 27s. They're going to get loaded up with a lot, of, a lot of point weight you would figure for the indoor guys. Yep. Yeah, we've got, um, you know, a full spectrum of components, uh, insert weights, you know, different bushings for the back end to uh, fully customize your arrow setup to be exactly what you need want. Um, now again, so for the target archers out there, we've got, clearly got the 23s and the 27s for indoor and 3D use. Will those 166s kind of work well, maybe as like a, as a small diameter, like wind fighting arrow for maybe people who are shooting 50 meters or field archery? Yeah, we've got, um, even for the 246s, we've got a full line of glue in points for the 166 and 246 arrows. Um, and then all of our points also um, will take our FMS, which is our forward mass insert system. Um, so those will thread on their insert weights that thread on from the back of the points. Um, and then you can add, you know, infinitely as much weight as you want. So all of, all of your glue and points will come, will be able to fit those same, that weight system. Um, correct. So the, the 166 arrows will have their own micro weights and then anything not 166, so 246, 23 and 27 will have a non micro weight system. All right. Um, I guess now as, as someone who's getting ready to start cutting these arrows down to size, um, you know, I've got, I've got just the raw shafts for the 23s and the 27s. Uh, any issue with cutting front and back on these arrows or you just want to cut front? No, um, you can cut how, you know, whatever you prefer, but, um, you know, I, we don't believe there's any reason to cut the backs. Um, you know, the, the brand philosophy for Ultra is the pinnacle of precision and performance. And we've really done our homework and our due diligence on, you know, creating the most uh, accurate and consistent arrows on the market. So, um, yeah, there shouldn't be any issue with just cutting the fronts. Okay. Yeah, I, I was. I, I always like to experiment, especially with the maybe like the the limited line with like a, I'll put them on the spinner and see if there's anything happening there. But you know, we'll see. The 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 the, the premier line. I suspect I won't have to have any 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 worry about that whatsoever. But I'll be able to playing with spin testing and stuff like that just to kind of show everyone on on the in these videos that we're doing what what the arrows are how they're performing and, and how they're looking right. before and after we we get ready to shoot them. Gotcha. Very good. And so, I guess what what is, what is Ultra doing? I guess differently, or what are you, what are, what's, what are the Ultra Centrum arrows doing that kind of set themselves maybe apart from whatever else is in the industry? 
Yeah, so there's a few things. Um, one of them that we're really excited about is we've got a pretty sophisticated uh, proprietary manufacturing process with, with essentially uh, eliminates the spine or the stiff axis of the arrow. So, um, you know, as if you are uh, got your arrow on a ram tester and you're checking for spine or, the, you know, a stiff point in the deflection, um, you're really not going to see that on our arrows. Um, so, which that, you know, creates an easier tunable bow setup. Uh, arrow set up and increases downrange downrange accuracy um, and just creates an all over all over uh, better shooting arrow. Do you do you find that maybe that makes a difference when it comes to like broadhead tuning? Because I always find I get fairly substantial differences with a lot of arrows when I'm just doing like knock tuning. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll see which band goes up top gives me the best performance. With that with that spine system you've created, that does that maybe hopefully eliminate some of that? It does definitely, yeah. Very good. And then I guess, uh, what do you think the future holds for Ultra Arrows? Is this, this something you're planning on expanding the line? Yeah. So, you know, initially with the launch, we've got four arrow sizes, but we tried to capture, you know, what 90 plus percent of the market is going to need for hunting and target. Um, and we think we've done that. I, we've got over 100 SKUs for this initial launch, and we're already looking at adding additional sizes such as 204 as well as a 25 spine for your target in 3D. Um, and then also adding um, different spines to our current offerings. Yeah, again, I think with what you have right now, that really is going to, the vast majority of people out there are going to have what they need to, to get the hunting arrows or the, or the target arrows they would, they would be after. But yeah, it's, I guess it's, but archery is a weird niche sport. There's always people looking for those micro niches and sometimes yep. those, but I would imagine those, that's the biggest challenge for brands is trying to fill those while still be able to, being able to turn this, make this profitable and not, not just try to appeal to the, those 4% of the people that want that one thing. Right. Yep. Well, good. I think, Daniel, I don't think I have much else to ask you. Uh, I appreciate the info on uh, on Ultra and the Centrum lineup, and I'm looking forward to kind of cutting these things and uh, and getting getting them out on the range. Good deal. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Perfect. And if you have if you have any do you have any tips regards to tuning tuning wise and length wise or anything, I should I should be keeping an eye out. I'm sure you've been playing with these for a while. Yeah. The only thing to keep in mind. So we've got a um, a pretty cool outsert system for the micro arrows called the Arco system. Uh, it's a three-piece design. You've got your glue and insert that has a uh, silicone O-ring on the outside. And then you've got your outsert, which slides over and then threads into the insert. Um, when you cut those arrows, you're going to want to cut them an inch and a quarter shorter than your target arrow length uh, because the outsert does extend past those. Um, but other than that, everything else should be kind of standard and, and what you'd expect from, from an arrow. Excellent. I appreciate the insight. Yep. Thank you so much, Daniel. Thank you.